there is something we didn't do to our apple tree right here and we have come to regret our actions what happened we didn't give it manure in time but all this came up because we didn't consult this book here i love this book this is my bible and the book of proverbs proverbs chapter 3 verse 5 up to 6 you can continue down if you have the time he tells us trust in the lord with all your heart never rely on what you think you know remember the lord in everything you do and he will show you the right way why am i giving you that scripture what happened here what happened here we planted this apple tree and this year we said we are not going to give it some manure why because we felt we've given it enough christine is my name i'm the principal farmer the real life coach because without food there is no life so i qualified to be the real life coach so being the real life coach this time i said i think stubbornly i was like this apple tree i've given it enough manure i'm a farmer of vegetables and fruits northern part of this country uganda is where i'm farming from semi-arid areas have characteristics like famine poverty malnutrition and i said i'll handle number one that is famine hunger i'll handle that but this time i didn't give manure to my apple tree reason being i felt i've given it enough so i became lazy i didn't give it manure what happened every day i was seeing the leaves they are looking pale they are drying out you can see how they are looking like we didn't give it manure the whole of this year we've not given this tree manure but when you move with me we are going to move and you have a look i have another tree something like seven meters away from here let's walk together today we are in the garden it is still early in the morning and i'm ready for work so right here seven meters off from the other one we have another tree it is just right here this tree here we gave it manure from down you can see it is all blooming it is looking green look at it up to the top we gave it manure then the other one where we've been we've not given it any manure the whole of this year however much it has been raining we have trenches we've dug in the bananas because it is uh, planted with the bananas so we managed to give other crops but stubbornly we were like we've given this tree enough so we are not going to add it so you've seen the results this one which we gave manure how it is looking like all looking green from down it is bringing branches everywhere we are even pruning them by the way up to top they are all branches then the other side where we've, give, we've not given any manure the tree was drying every day it is looking pale because we stubbornly refused to give it manure it is looking bad indeed it's looking bad but as you've heard from the scripture proverbs uh, chapter 3 verse 5 it is telling us don't rely on your knowledge always consult god in everything you do so this time we didn't even consult god we just woke up and we were like we are not giving manure now the tree was almost dying every day it's looking pale the leaves are not pleasing yet the other side the one we gave but sometime i felt hmm, it's good to sample things <laughs> when i sampled this i've got the results then the other side i've also got the results so <laughs> to some extent i'm learning a lot what are we going to do we have the manure we have the chicken poo it is just right here chicken poo i have the chicken poo and i also have my garden tools so no wasting time i'm going to show you how we do it from the other side what we did we are going to do it here right away no wasting time we are digging a small hole just at the root area like this then this is the manure we have we are just going to pour randomly because i don't want to waste a lot of your time a lot of your data and i know you my subscribers actually subscribe if you haven't 
uh, keep following. We are farming a lot of vegetables, fruits. So we do this together. When I'm with you, we are creating hunger-free communities. Together, we can do this. Subscribe to my channel. So this is what we have to do. Then you bring back the soils. So we are going to do this all around the tree. Then after, we pour some water. We shall put a lot of water, such that these things here, the poo can decompose very fast. We need it to decompose very fast. Because if there is no decomposition that will take place, it will st still take a lot of time for us to get the results that we need. Like the other side, have you have seen the other tree. It is all looking green. It is looking healthy. But also, however much uh, I've told you that we need to consult God in everything we do. We need to move with God. <laughs> this has been a lesson to me. I've learned something. So subscribe to my channel. I need to farm with you. We need to create very many hunger-free communities. We need to fight the challenges that are around the globe. Most of the parts, they are semi-arid areas. I'm coming to learn. They don't get enough rainfall in time. Um, and you find there is a lot of hunger that is across the globe. So together we can do this. We can fight hunger together. Let people have a smile on their faces. Because a hungry person is always an angry one. They will not smile. But together we can create that smile which we want. Subscribe to my channel. And above all, I'm praying to God that you stay blessed. In the mighty name of our Lord Jesus Christ.